delusional women are forced to live in reality, no matter what they think. No woman is exempt from reality. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, right now there's the, the internet is flooded with people uh, making we need to protect the women videos, uh, Diddy was wrong, and Cassie's a victim, and, and all of this. And I'm here today to tell you that uh, a rebellious woman that has the mindset of a heathen, I don't care how she looks, you know, it's not gonna have any protection because she's moving against the will of the Most High Yah. And this is where I say, man, there's a lot of delusional women that put themselves, you know, excuse my French, they put themselves in the most shitty, effed up situations hoping for a fairy tale ending. Limerence. How many women uh, leave a good man to go rip and run these streets and in reality slap some dead slap in the face when they find out that the grass is not greener? And then what do they do? They try to backpedal to go get with the man that was good, that was patient with them, and try to act like you know they're a victim of the world. Cassie ain't no doggone victim. You got, uh, you got true victims out here uh, that can't even get justice. Cassie wasn't trying to get justice. Cassie wanted money. That's why she filed a civil lawsuit, not a criminal. See, people don't know that the statute of limitation on that video that's out with Cassie has expired. And a lot of women, what they do is they try to uh, get in these situations because they think, okay, at some point this thing gonna be lucrative. I'm gonna just hold on to it. And then I'm gonna I'm 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 let, it, let it be released and then I'm gonna come forward, play the victim card. But here's the thing, all of that stuff that you see in that video, the statute of limitation for felony assault, I think where that video was recorded is three years. On a misdemeanor uh, assault is a year and a half where that video took place. I'm telling you, how many times will we see uh, a woman lust after the man that has all these baby mamas, you know, has all these kids, don't take care of them. The baby mamas are uh, a wreaking chaos in his life and you see it, but because all the women want this sorry ass man, you lay down in bed with him and he treats me different and I'm special. Now you got two kids by this man. I'm telling you, women love a plum fool especially a fool with money. A lot of women do not know what a good man is. A lot of women do not know how to recognize good fruit of a man. Man, let me tell you something, this is the same thing. There's women so damn ignorant that you will go lay down uh, and, and be courted by a drug dealer. You don't know how this man make his money and you turn the blind eye. Well, I know people coming and going, but who am I? Who am I to judge how he make his money? He treats me like a lady, buys me what I want. I ain't never been treated like this. And then here you are uh, uh, living this fairytale life in your head, not realizing, man, this man, you don't know what he's involved in. This man could have hit licks. This man could owe somebody money. Somebody could come try to knock him off. And here you are, me and my baby got shot up in the car with victims and we don't know how this happened. Wait a minute. You put yourself in that shitty situation. You gotta think, man. We, we, you know, there's always a guy out there smooth as butter. You know, testing a woman's wisdom. 
testing to see if a woman has discernment. Man, you let a, 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 a guy that don't have a job, you know, refuses to work, cannot produce any fruit, because he gives you that emotional feeling, that rise, man, you will let him bust all up in you raw. And then shame this man for being the same man he was when you met him, unfruitful. You see what I'm saying? Women have a way of always trying to play the victim. And I'll tell you, delusional women are forced to live in their reality. And I'll tell you, delusional women are forced to live in the reality of their choices. The choices you make as an delusional woman shape the environment that you got to live in. Man, you see a woman with uh, two, three, four kids, all by different men, those are the choices that she made. And she's going to try to spin it as if she has some supreme wisdom now. And men, you got to recognize the fruit. If she don't have no, if she's not producing good fruit, the whole tree is bad. Them kids is going to be unprofitable. She's going to be unprofitable. You got to think, man, there's women out here that are so uh, uh, desperate for a man's connection. Man, they'll, they'll fall in love with an inmate murderer X, Y, and Z. And they'll look past all of this and wonder why, damn, I never thought he would hit me. Well, look what look look what the Joker was in prison for. This Joker ain't been out two weeks. Go upside your head. Well, he just treated me so different and I knew it was different. That's that damn delusion. You gotta think, women. Let me tell you something. A lot of women get themselves into some into some shit. And no matter what kind of college you go to, no matter what kind of degree you're going to get, what kind of uh, profession, it affects even professional, uh, high-earning women to show you that they're delusional. You will get with a man, whole family, full of domestic violence, all kind of foolishness. Mama and daddy tell you they fight like dogs. Grandparents fighting like dogs. Ain't nobody in their marriage. Ain't nobody committed. But all of a sudden, here you come thinking you special. I'm special. It ain't gonna happen to me. He would never do that. And the minute you say something, whop all upside your head. You got yourself into that shit. Most time y'all gave you, he gave you, uh, if, if you seek it, he'll give you a spirit to be able to discern. You're not gonna get a discerning spirit just from going to church. Well, I was raised in church. That don't mean nothing. Don't mean you got the ruat, the genuine ruat to be able to discern and be able to look at what is good fruit, you might not even realize you can't even produce good fruit, let alone you're attracted to wickedness. Let me tell you something. How many women uh, 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 love the, how many women love the, the, the dope dealer, the bad boy that won't commit to, to, to no women? Like I said, you will break up your home all for this man that has not shown a track record of ever being committed to any women. And, and here you are surprised that it didn't work out between y'all and you didn't tow your damn house up. Oh, I'm gonna just try to go back to my ex-husband and, and see if we can reconciliate. Man, your doggone field is tainted soil. Nobody taking you back after that. I'm telling them delusional women are forced to live in the reality of their choice. Humans, period. There's nobody that can escape the reality of the choices that they have made. And what makes this particularly uh, crazy is no matter what, women always want to be the victim in something. Always want to be the victim. And you get what you get. When there's no accountability, no self-awareness, nobody feels sorry for you. I don't feel sorry for no, no dog on Cassie. Cassie didn't go out looking for no uh, yah fearing man. It don't matter what her parents taught her. She didn't go out and, and, and she was looking for the bag. She wanted the fame. She wanted to be a part of it. And you know what that came with? Getting your ass beat up and down the damn hallway. How many times have we heard this wickedness about jokers in Hollywood? But yet, women will flop. There's a woman. There's a woman stupid enough right now. Uh, no matter. She could be. She could be halfway through college, working on a master's degree have her own, be high earning, let Diddy slide in her D, uh, her DMs. And she'd go right over there and be the next doggone Diddy victim. Take that, take that. 
I'm telling you, man, just because somebody tells you that they're, that they're wise, man, just because a woman tells you that she's wise and smart and intelligent, hey, it, it, the, words, the, the word of the Most High Yah is undefeated. By their fruits, you shall know them. You got to think, man, I'm a father. I'm not raising up my damn, I'm not raising my daughter to be no doctor, no scientist, no businesswoman, no boss, B-I-T-C-A. Heck no, I'm raising her to be a wife, a righteous wife that can submit to her dog on man. And I'm, I'm raising my daughter so I can hand her off one day to a man of understanding. Not no dog on plum fool. My sons, I got two sons. If them jokers is, 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 is not ready to be married and they will, and they're planning on living like these worldly jokers, man, I'll tell, I'll tell a woman they're entertaining in a heartbeat. This joker's gonna wreck your life. I can see it. You can't see it now. I see the writing on the wall. Know why? Because I've been raising and rearing him. I know what I taught him and I see how he's responding. But still, when you live a life uh, void of wisdom, especially when people have given you the wisdom. Hey, I ain't trying to be all up in your business, but hey, that's that's not a good choice. That ain't gonna end well. What do people do? Oh, I, well, telling me I'm just I'm gonna show them. No, you're gonna show you, and you have to deal with the reality of the choices that you made, and it's gonna be painful if you're out here uh, moving foolishly. Closer than y'all ministry is kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Bow.